That's what Ray told me to go do it. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Desiree. I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you're new here, I want to say welcome and thanks for tuning in. And if you have been rocking with me over this last month since I started my YouTube, I just want to say welcome back, cousin. The happy March. It is March. We are a few weeks away from the spring. But I mean, I live in Florida. It rains every day here. So, anyway, y'all, I'm on the way to get my license reinstated or renewed or something. I mean, why I've been riding around since November with an expired driver's license i'm <laughs> okay let me tell y'all the story before y'all judge me because i know you probably like let me tell y'all what happened a letter in the mail and it stated license are getting ready to expire i need to renew my license so i did it online i actually did it online um renew my license online they got the com e confirmation email all that that they received the 45 five dollar payment so there was so much going on in november that i basically forgot about it i didn't think anything of it um, for me it's like i don't look at my license every day or anything like that i don't i mean it's not like using a credit card or debit card that's something i use every day all day in December, I thought about it because I was flying out to LA and um, buying my flight ticket. I think it asked for my driver's license or something it stated on there. And I was like, oh my goodness, my driver's license is expired. So in the moment, I was like, well, I'm going to LA next week. You know, I tried to make an appointment, but all the appointments were booked up to like the middle of January. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to worry about it. So of course, I went online and looked it up and of course you could still fly with a um expired driver's license right so i was like okay cool i can still go to la so in the midst of all of that i called i called and the lady was so rude y'all i said oh you know i ordered my driver's license on october like 22nd he was like oh we don't see no we don't see no order number and i said okay well no it hasn't been mailed i don't have it okay well you need to buy another one i said ma'am i'm not finna buy you know pay 45 dollars to buy another one when i already bought one and i said well can i make an appointment to come in um uh, you could do that online huh okay miss two so i went and i said when i got back from california i was going to work on get my license right I ain't do that. I forgot about it again. Like, I really forgot all about it. Y'all was trying to file my taxes last week. <laughs> I was trying to file my taxes. And when it asked for the driver's license, I put it in. And it was like, the driver's license that you use is invalid. And I was like, hmm. And I want my money. I ain't even get that second stimulus check. So I want, I want my IRS money. So immediately I sat there, made an appointment, and I was like, I'm going to get my license done. And that's what we doing. But that's basically my rant about that license. So I'm gonna get one, and as soon as I get it, I'm gonna file those taxes again. you guys i'm back from this driver's license y'all i went in so happy i was excited bro when i just took this picture picture makes me look fat as heck it made me look round is my face really i wish i could show y'all but i'm so embarrassed my neck my face and mind y'all we took this picture three times first of all i don't like the new license compared to my old one to like it a few minutes I'm just having a whole fit about my driver's license because i feel fat i look fat in that picture i probably am fat i'm gonna go eat me a whole salad i'm gonna just eat me some lettuce and be a rabbit for like the next three weeks 
because that picture was unacceptable and I still feel some type of way about it. So I'm gonna go get a salad, probably from Zaxby's. Yes, I know, I just said I was gonna get a salad, all that, y'all. I went to McDonald's. <laughs> I went to McDonald's and I'm gonna try the spicy chicken nuggets. I really should have got a salad, but I guess I guess that picture ain't motivate me that much to go eat rabbit food, but maybe next time. They don't taste spicy like I thought they would. I don't even know why I ordered that. I really should have got a salad because I feel like that's just going to mess up my stomach. And I should not have got on that. So I got the COVID-19 vaccine. I got it on Friday. Today is Tuesday. And yeah, I mean, it went well. That was the first dose. I got the visor. And I, I mean, didn't have any type of side effects to it. Didn't feel any type of way. Y'all, I was so against getting the shot. I was so against it. I was like, y'all aren't going to use me as a guinea pig. Y'all not gonna be testing y'all vaccine on me. A lot of people at my job got it. And I was watching them. I was waiting for their fingers to fall off, their arm to fall off, their face to fall off. I was waiting on something to happen. And I know people have gotten it um, since December. And I'm not the one. I don't like shots, y'all. I do not like shots. I stall so much for the flu shot. And I have to get that every year for my job. So for me to voluntarily go get the COVID vaccine, y'all was nervous. I was kind of shaking. I'm like, bro, you don't have to do this. So... so you put yourself through something, you stressing out about something that you don't even have to do. About a month ago, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it after kind of seeing everybody else seem to be doing pretty fine. And of course, after doing my own research on it, I realized it's not bad. It's all good for the most part. Do your own research, y'all. Do your own research. Just because I said it's fine, it's good. Y'all ain't finna walk around here with your lip twisted to the side saying, oh, this Ray told me to go do it. No, go do your own <laughs> go do your own research. My arm wasn't even sore. Usually my arm is so sore, especially after the flu shot. My arm like my I can't sleep on my arm. Don't touch my arm. Don't even shake my hand. No, don't matter of fact, don't even look at me. My arm just hurt, you know? <laughs> so I was really like, uh, didn't want to do that because I had so much to do over the weekend. So I do go for the second dose on March 19th, which is in about two and a half weeks. And that um, vaccine will be on a Friday again, which is good because I did hear for the second dose, um, people felt ill. Hopefully that's not the case. I'll definitely keep you all updated and informed. So that's that's basically that. I just got an email about commencement. <laughs> oh my goodness, 2021 commencement. You guys, so I'm graduating in May with my master's. I'm so excited. Our new dates for commencement will be May 21st and May 22nd. Isn't that a Saturday and Sunday? Or is that a Friday and Saturday? Honors? I get honors cords. Ah! They said I have to order my honors cord. Oh, Y'all, I'm excited. I'm so excited. This master's program was just a lot. It done stressed me out on so many levels, on so many occasions. My coworker is having a hard time walking to the building. Mm. Right, so my lunch break is up. It's time for me to go back in the building. But thank you so much for tuning in with my little chit chat nonsense about my driver's license, the COVID vaccine, and also graduation. And I'll see you guys in my next video.